Hi everybody, it's 314 Reactor here. I've just completed a project that is inspired from Metal Gear Solid 4. It's called the Sons of the Patriot System, that's what it's called in the game. In the game, the story is that basically an AI system has taken over the world and any items that soldiers need to use are registered to this system and they need to be identified by the system in order to be able to use the items. In game, it's done by nanomachines. On this, it's done by fingerprints. Now the parts for this have been supplied by digitspace.com. They asked me if I want to make a project with them. I said yes. I presented them the idea of this, they thought it was great, they sent me all the parts, and finally I've been able to make the project. It's taken me quite some time, it's been a weird few months, so I'm thankful for them for their patience, but here we are, it's finally done, and let's go over what's on it. So the parts they sent me were the Raspberry Pi, the LCD screen here, the pulse sensor, environmental data sensor, and pretty much every other sensor and item on this is from them. So there's a link in the description to digitspace.com, please do go check them out. Also, you can check out my Hackster and Electromaker pages, which go over how I made this and has all the components that I used for it. So please do check them out. They're really good. They got some really good prices. They got lots of amazing tech. And thanks again to them for enabling me to be able to make this project, which I've had in mind for quite some time. It can be remoted into, to be unlocked, to register new users, to initiate and unlock. It also has an LCD screen on the side to indicate ammo count and whether the person needs to log in. It also uses technology similar to one of my other previous projects, which is my ammo counter rangefinder for a Nerf blaster. So it has a proximity sensor on the front that detects shots that fly out so it can count down the ammo. It has an ultrasonic sensor on the front as well so it can detect range from the muzzle. It also has a touch button on the side here so when you reload, you press that and it resets the ammo counter. It's also got a GPS module on board so you'll be able to remote in, see the GPS position that the user is on. I haven't been able to get that to work because I can't get the GPS to get a fix. I think I'd have to go outside to get a fix on the GPS but Obviously, I can't really take this monstrosity outside. So this uses a Raspberry Pi W so it can connect to Wi-Fi. It's got a USB to TTL converter for the fingerprint reader. It's got a heart rate sensor on there as well. What you do is put your thumb on the heart rate sensor like so. It registers that you're holding it, registers your heartbeat, and then remotely you can get it to sign up new users and you put your finger on there and it will register you. And then it will then allow that person to log in remotely. Again, you initiate the login from remote and then it'll, that fingerprint reader will flash, put your finger on there if it's been registered and a little servo up here will click one of the safety buttons in the Nerf blaster which will then allow the uh, flywheel to spin up inside it and allow the blaster to fire darts. It's an evolution of what I've done before and heavily inspired by Metal Gear Solid 4, hence the bandana. So let's check this out in action. Alrighty, so we have the system online. The moment is locked and it should not allow the flywheel to spin up. That's the button that uh, spins up the flywheel. Um, let's take a look at the admin software and we'll see if we can get a proper demo of how this is supposed to work. Alrighty, so here we are. I fire up the SOP admin Python and that loads up. We'll see the system has been initialized and it will default to locked. So we won't be able to fire it. Let's uh, reset the ammo counter. So that's ammo count of five, so I can't, can't fire it at the moment. So what I'm going to do is, we'll take a look at this menu closer soon, but what I'll do now is add a user. That's option eight on the menu. Make sure that my thumb is on the sensor. The fingerprint sensor does that, lights up, put my finger on there, template the finger, and there we go. And it's successfully enrolled. And then what I do is go to prompt user login, that's option 11 on the menu. As long as my thumb is still on the fingerprint sensor, it should activate, wait for image, put the finger on there. And there we go, it's logged me in. So there it says user zero unlocked. That's the first user, it's zero indexed. Um, so that should now be unlocked and I should now be able to spin up the flywheel. Pull the trigger. The nerf dart goes out and it's now Showing the ammo as ammo 4 because it's detected a shot that's come out. And then when the ammo runs out, you can just reload, pop a new mag in, and then touch, and it'll reset the ammo count at 5. And you'll see it's just locked there, that's because I took my thumb off of the pulse sensor. So whenever you put the blaster down, it will lock after a few seconds. It means that no unauthorized user can then pick it up and use it. So let's go back here, 11, log back in again. And there we go, user unlocked again. And we can spin it up. And there we go, it'll start counting down the ammo again. 
So that's basically how the blaster works for the user. Let's take my thumb off there and we'll just wait for it to spin over. And locked. And there we go. All right, I'm just going to walk through the menu system here now. So you launch it with Python 3 SOP admin.py. You hit enter and it loads up the menu there. And you can go over and see that the screen there says locked. You can just about see that. And from here, you can pretty much get all the data that you want from the blaster. So you can press 1 to get the heart rate, which will say 0 BPM, because my thumb's not currently on it. Um, so if we hit the reload button, and then hit show ammo, shows the full 5 darts. And that will always show the latest amount of darts that are currently in it. Also get the environmental data. So there you go, it's showing you the air pressure and the temperature there in Celsius. And then option four gives us the muzzle distance. So that pings off out of the ultrasonic sensor there, which is reading about three centimeters, which is about right, because that's about how far it is away from the wall at the moment. You show the GPS location, which if I could get a GPS fix, it would show the latitude and longitude. I've got the lock immediately option, which will just completely lock it down, log anyone out and stop the blaster from being fired. I've got the unlock immediately button, which will Set it into unlock mode. And that basically means that you can spin it up without having to actually be authorized. And you can lock it again with option six. You've got add user, which I demonstrated earlier. You've got remove all users, which removes all registered users and prevents anyone from being able to register until a new user is registered. You've got show user count, which at the moment I can't get to work. It always shows zero users, no matter how many are on there. Uh, that's something I'm gonna have to dig into because that actually accesses code that's been written by somebody else to interface with the fingerprint sensor. So I may have to debug that, but when I get that working, that will display how many users have been registered. Uh, prompt user login, that's what we saw earlier, where you, you press that and it will display on the LCD display uh, to place the finger on the sensor and it will allow them to log in and use the blaster. And reboot and shut down and quit are all self-explanatory. All right, so here's a quick demo of when you try and use an unauthorized finger to log in. So I'm just gonna do the remote login, put my thumb on the sensor here, wait for the login, put the finger on that's not registered, this finger, and it says access denied, and you can't spin it up. So that's what happens when you try and use a finger that is not authorized. So that is the Sons of the Patriots system inspired by Metal Gear Solid 4 using a Raspberry Pi and a Nerf Blaster. This Nerf Blaster will now no longer fire unless a registered fingerprint is scanned in. It's all remotely admined from SSH terminal and a Python program that allows full control of locking, unlocking, new users, logins, and is able to show ammo count, muzzle distance, environmental data, heart rate data, and GPS location data. It's quite a bit messy on the wiring side. It's pretty difficult to get all that wiring done properly. I may, for a future version, try and get the wiring done internally on the blaster. I'm not sure how viable that is, how much room is inside. The servo keeps moving around for some reason. Maybe someone can give me some advice on that. But overall, I'm pretty happy with that. The only other thing is the GPS that doesn't work properly. I can't get it to get a fix on the satellite. I think that's the only issue. Uh, again, I think I would have to actually take it outside, but of course I can't do that. The only other issue is the user's count on the fingerprint sensor. All of the fingerprints are stored on the sensor itself and that's interfaced with a Python script. So that's a library that I haven't made, I've got from somewhere else. I'll have to debug that and try and find out. I'm hoping to make another version of this in future. I have made something similar before which just used an Arduino and a fingerprint reader, but this is a step above that as it allows you to register new users on the fly and of course get all the environmental data. So it's really, really cool. There's a link down below that describes all the how this is supposed to work. There's a few issues with it, like I just mentioned. It could be a bit more aesthetically pleasing. All links are in the description. My Hackster, my Electromaker. Also my Twitter's down there as well, so you can see how it's made. Also my GitHub will be linked as well, so you can see the code for it. Please do like and subscribe for future tech projects and gaming videos. I'm always doing stuff. I try and get a video out every week. To check out my Hackster and Electromaker pages. Uh, I try and get projects made uh, as often as I possibly can. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.